In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called domain of a square root function, advanced. We're asked to find the domain of the function u of x, and the limiting factor on u of x is the square root. In order to take the square root of a number, and here that number is negative x plus 4, the whole thing is underneath the square root, that negative x plus 4 could be 0 or anything larger than zero. Essentially, it could be zero or a positive number. It couldn't be a negative number because then we wouldn't be able to take the square root of the negative number. So the value underneath the radical would have to be greater than or equal to zero. And now that we've written the possible values that we could take the square root of in this inequality, I can solve the inequality for x first subtracting the 4 over to the other side of the inequality would give us a minus x is greater than or equal to negative 4. And then to solve for x, I could divide by negative 1 on both sides. And that would cancel our negatives, leaving me the x on the left-hand side. The negatives would cancel on the right as well, leaving me with a positive 4. However, we have to remember that whenever we multiply or divide inequalities by a negative number, the direction of that inequality switches. So again, we didn't have to worry about this when we were adding or subtracting the 4 over, but when you multiply or divide by a negative in an inequality, you change the direction of that inequality. And so we have x is less than or equal to 4, and in interval notation, less than or equal to 4, we could choose numbers all the way down to negative infinity, and we always use the curve bracket for infinity, so there's no lower limit. The upper limit, though, since x is less than or equal to 4, the maximum value that we could plug in would be 4, and we include 4 because it is or equal to, and our interval notation is written here. 